Hi everyone, it's Robin Clayton and I want to welcome you back to my channel Zodi C at the Farm where I create these uh, gorgeous uh, garden glass flowers and more. So today uh, I'm not going to be making a flower. I'm actually going to be answering uh, several questions that I have gotten uh, over the last couple of months regarding uh, different things that I do during the process of, of creating these uh, garden glass flowers. Now, one of the uh, first questions, uh, so this is basically just going to be a, a Q&A uh, video. I'm going to try and make it uh, short, but, uh, you know, succinct and, and, and directly to the point. Um, but I, I always want everyone to remember that uh, when I do make my videos, I'm always repeating myself so that people understand, you know, where I do get my materials and and, and how I actually, uh, you know, drill each piece. Uh, but uh, here I am, I'm gonna do a Q&A once again, just because so many people have uh, reached out to me. And I, I do wanna thank everyone um, for, you know, coming to my channel. Um, I, I do not know of anybody that actually uses a toggle bolt or actually drills glass uh, like I do. And I've gotten a lot of people um, who are interested in um, utilizing this process and um, I'm glad I was uh, able to, to to bring it to all of you okay so um, again we're here on a, on a Q&A um, and uh, I'm just gonna try and answer all the questions that come my way uh, through my website and uh, also through the channel so one of the first questions was where do I get my orbs from now my orbs I get from a plethora of different places. I, I get them at uh, vintage shops, uh, Goodwill, Salvation Army, um, a, a lot of, uh, I'm here in Southwest Florida, so there are a lot of little boutiques uh, and there are a lot of artistic people over here that actually do blow these glass orbs. And when I find any glass orbs, I pick them up immediately. Um, I also can, you can also get those orbs on uh, Amazon. Uh, you can get them um, from Pier One. Uh, but again, there's a plethora of different places uh, that, that you can obtain them. Uh, so I hope that that answers the questions on the glass orbs and, and where I get them. However, one of the things I do want to say is I don't necessarily just use glass. I mean, I've used wooden orbs, I've used um, resin orbs, I've uh, used ceramic orbs. Uh, so, you know, the possibilities are endless as far as, you know, what types of orbs that you can use uh, utilizing the toggle bolt. So I hope that um, answers that question. Okay, so the next question is, where do I get my hooks? Okay, so um, I, again, I get this hook, it's from Hobby Lobby. So go to hobbylobby.com. You can paint this particular hook, whatever color uh, you choose. I, I just like it because it fits very well um, on the conduit pole that, that I do use, along with a chair cover that sticks right on the top. And I have um, shown that in prior uh, videos. So, but with regards to answering the question on where I get this particular hook, it's from Hobby Lobby. And you can go to hobbylobby.com and order it online, okay? Um, you can also go to Etsy. They have a lot of different style hooks. This one just happens to be a flower, so I just, you know, find that mo motif to be appropriate for, um, you know, if, if I want to hang uh, this particular, um, I want to hang outside, I use uh, this particular hook. It just works best for me. But, I mean, there, there are plenty of uh, different types of hooks that you can use. Okay, the next question is, uh, that I've been asked by several people is, what size drill bits do I use when drilling uh, my orbs? Now, this is a glass orb, okay, and it's got a, a little bit of a, a kind of a nipple here. And what I normally do is I start out with my smallest, which would be uh, approximately a one millimeter to two millimeter uh, diamond tip bit, okay? And then I graduate it. So I'll start the hole here and then I continue, I'll switch this bit out and then I will move uh, to this, which is a 10 millimeter 
and then I will just enlarge again the hole and then I will, uh, once I clear that, then I will move to a 10 millimeter diamond tip bit. And then if uh, predicating how big the flower is and how heavy the flower is, I can move all the way up to a 20 millimeter uh, diamond tipped drill bit. Okay, and uh, again, I, I wanna just reiterate, I don't just use glass, I've used wooden orbs. I've used ceramic orbs, I've used resin orbs, um, but with regards to the glass itself, you definitely do need to start at the smallest size and then continue to graduate it to the larger sizes, predicating what size a toggle bolt you're gonna be using. Okay, so I just wanna be very clear on that. Now for the rest of your pieces, not the orb, but for just a standard, you know, piece like this, this would be my standard, you know, one millimeter, uh, you know, uh, drill bit, okay? So um, I, I hope that that answers uh, the questions with regards to the drill bits that I use on my orbs. Okay, all right, next question. Okay, so I, um, they, I will be showing a video here uh, in the next week or so on how to actually cut an orb, but on most of my videos, you will see me cutting uh, the orb. And um, you have to take your time. It's very important to take your time in cutting any of these pieces of the glass, simply because they are so expensive and you want the most beautiful finished product that you can have. So, uh, but that video on cutting the orb uh, will be, uh, you know, out um, on, my, on my platform in the next week or so. Okay, so somebody asked me if I use a clear uh, lacquer. And yes, um, I use a clear lacquer only on um, uh, uh, plates or, or flower petals that have a painted texture on them, uh, such as this one. This has a paint, it's not a, you know, a Murano. This is not a pure piece of glass. It, I mean, it's glass, but I mean, it's, it's painted. And so I usually put a, a urethane or a lacquer on these to protect the integrity um, of, of the paint on that on that particular flower. But if you're just using um, like a, a regular uh, solid uh, Murano piece, you're not gonna need to uh, put any lacquer on it. I mean, it's beautiful just the way it is. So, but for those of you who uh, were interested, yes, I do use a lacquer or a urethane um, on, on my painted uh, flower petals. Okay, um, do I get nervous? Here's another question. Do I get nervous when, when I drill, um, you know, moving from a, a smaller bit to a larger bit? No, I've been doing this in the beginning, you know, you always get a little whatever anxious, but if you just take your time uh, and you just hone your skills, you won't have to worry about it. Now, are there gonna be times when you've gone really, really slow and you've done the best you can and you still find that uh, your orb's gonna crack, well then the, the glass, you know, was weak in a certain area. And those are gonna happen. You're, you're gonna crack glass. I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, I'm, I've been working with resin and I will be showing that down the road. Um, but I mean, with regards to glass, if I break the glass, then I just make a mosaic. You know, I, I don't throw away the glass. I always repurpose my glass uh, simply because, you know, I, I just, I'm an artist and I, I, I think that the glass is beautiful. So if I do break the glass, uh, and it happens even after all this time, and it's been since 2018 that, that I've been actually making these flowers, 
But if I do, like I said, I, I repurpose uh, the glass and it's gonna happen. So uh, don't be afraid. I mean, if you can't control it, then you just have to kind of just go with the flow. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Um, and never have any fear. Um, you know, just simply because uh, that, that's, how, that's how we improve uh, our lives is by making mistakes. So um, please don't, don't ever be afraid to use uh, a drill press or a drill and, and practice. I mean, you know, practice with, you know, uh, materials that, that you're not going to be using uh, for a final product. All right. So just as information there. Uh, where do I get my glass? I mean, again, this is not just orbs. I mean, I get my flower petals um, at all different uh, different places. I mean, I can find them at, uh, like I said, Pier One. I, I mean, uh, art, art, little art uh, places, Goodwill, Salvation Army, um, a place called Funky Junkies over where I live. And, I've gone up to Venice and, and, and found uh, glass, and that would be Venice, Florida. Uh, I ordered it on the marketplace. You can you can get your flower petals from Amazon. I mean, there's just a plethora of different places. You just have to uh, have a, a keen eye for what it is that, that you're looking for. But any flower petal that I see that I know I can use, I automatically, uh, especially if it's, um, you know, I mean, if it's a great quality piece, I, I will uh, grab it right away. So um, I hope that answers your question as to where I get my glass. There are just, just a plethora of different um, artists out there who, who make glass and and uh, I, just, I just find them in the most beautiful ways. So I just feel blessed, um, but I'm always on the hunt for, for glass. So I hope that answers that question. Okay, what kind of voltage um, am I using on my cordless drill? Okay, so um, this is the cord cordless drill that I use. It is a Ryobi. It doesn't have to be a Ryobi. Mine just happens to be, but this is a 18 volt, um, you know, battery. So, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty strong, it's a, strict, a pretty strong voltage. Never had a, an issue uh, using that. My my preference my preference is my uh, my drill press, and that is a 12 inch Ryobi drill press. Uh, by the way. Okay, so what types of poles do I mount them on? I use conduit, uh, which is a just a metal conduit pole. You can get it from any one of your local hardware stores. Um, you can also use PVC if you choose. You can use copper, um, but I mean, there are a plethora of different, um, you know, pieces that I use, but most of my pieces are so beautiful that I really uh, don't put them outside. Um, I prefer to mount them on the wall, which I'm going to get to my next question. But as far as the, again, just reiterating what, uh, what material do I use to mount? Uh, these flowers on is conduit. It's a metal conduit. You can use PVC. I prefer a metal conduit uh, with a chair cover. It's a rubber chair cover. I, they're in my prior videos. You'd have to go back to them and I just stick it right on top and then I put a hole through that uh, chair cover and then I stick this right inside uh, the chair cover hole. Um, what is it which is attached to the conduit okay so that hopefully that answers your, your question there um, now some people have asked me uh, what particular uh, mounting system I use to mount these to the wall um, I use a, 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 a keyhole system this is a three uh, three hole system Three, there's three holes in this keyhole with um, and you use three anchors okay um, prior to, to mounting this and uh, then uh, so this mounts uh, one three anchors go in here and then I stick the piece of uh, glass or my my full flower right inside this keyhole uh, and it just sits beautifully on the wall. And one, uh, one day soon I'll, I'll make a presentation on that. But 
Uh, once again, I did a, uh, I did a, a uh, 19 flowers for uh, a, a lovely couple out of Fort Myers, and I mounted 19 of them to her wall with, with her husband using that three a keyhole system and that is also in my prior videos you can find them in, in my video uh, listing um i i here's one other thing that i i, I think that's important that people uh, understand that i use is this um you know when i'm cutting the glass i usually put this as a stabilizer underneath um one of my my pieces so that when i'm drilling that it actually hits the center of this as opposed to cracking the glass um, you always want to make sure that you know you're using protective eyewear uh, handwear um, and then um, you want to use uh, as far as my um, my toggle bolt this is 3 16 by 3 inches uh, so you can get this again from Amazon you can get it from Home Depot Ace Hardware any, any one of your local hardware stores will, will have that size all right so I um, this was just a uh, a quick Q&A video for all of you um, again I want to thank everyone who has come to my channel and uh, I would love for everyone to share their particular pieces with me. If you could send them, you know, to my website, um, I, I would love love to see uh, all of your creations. Um, don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button, um, you know, on 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 my channel because my channel continues to grow. So. Um, I guess I'm doing something right and I love hearing from all of you it, it makes me really happy um, I actually started doing these flowers while my dad was passing away to help me um, you know get get through that um, and um, it's just turned into something um, because I I know there are a lot of people out there that will glue glass and um, that's that that doesn't work for me here in uh, Southwest Florida the, the, it's just too hot and uh, even in the cold temperatures you know you're gonna you're gonna lose those flowers unless you bring them in so this is why I um, I invented this particular uh, toggle and again like I've never seen anybody use this system so I I, I think that everybody really um, it likes it and I think they come out beautiful as well so it's it's been a it's been a blessing for me because it, it really has been a, a healing process so again don't forget to hit that like share and subscribe button so that these particular videos uh, and the, this creativity can get out to others who are interested in making these um, a beautiful garden glass flowers. Okay, I hope you have a blessed day and a blessed week, and I hope to see you next time here at Zodi C at the Farm. Many blessings sent your way. Take care. Peace out. Okay, see you.